Thanks for tuning in. I'm Trushi. Hey guys, thanks for checking me out today. I'm going to be making my first wig. I am so hyped. I finally posted this video. And the wig, I must say, interesting enough or not, it did turn out pretty bomb. So I'm going to let you guys watch and see how I constructed. If you have any questions or you have any feedback, please put it in the comment section, but I'm not going to give you a step-by-step -step instructional on this one. I'm going to kind of let you watch and see. And it's all trial and error. Trust me, I had some muck-ups, but the wig still turned out. So keep watching. I hope you enjoy. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And guys, I just want to chime in right here because this is a very important step that I pretty much mucked up on. You see where I'm starting at? Where that needle is going right there? Don't do that. I'm about anywhere from four to six inches above the start of the frontal. You want to start at the very beginning of your frontal start the threading at the very beginning of your frontal so instead of me starting where I started at that little flap that's still not intact at the bottom that's actually where I was supposed to start at. and as you continue to watch and when you get towards the end you'll see what problem arises from me not starting at the very beginning. So I just wanted to put that in there because that is a very important step. So I'll let you get back to enjoying my video.
Okay, guys, I wanted to chime in on this part because at the very beginning, you see that tab of the frontal right there? That is the part I told you start from the very beginning. So that tab isn't just flapping, right? Okay, now look at where I'm starting to thread this track. I am still starting to thread, thread the track five to six inches above the beginning of the frontal. That is a no-no. And as you continue to watch the video and get towards the end, you will see why this simple step is vital. Because making a wig is easy. If you know how to sew, it's easy. It's the dynamic and understanding how to lay these tracks. That's very important. And of course, sew your frontal one. So this is a great interlude to show you what not to do. That is a big, big no-no. Just that little muck up right there really makes a difference in how your wig sits on the crown of your head. So... I put emphasis on that. Make sure you start your your sewing, your threading of your frontal at the very beginning, the very start of your frontal. And that's where you would want to start the laying of your first track as well.
So guys, I'm chiming in a little bit. I want to tell you a little bit about this hair. It is bomb. I've had it for over four months and as you can see, it's minimal shedding and is very easy to be tamed with some little mousse and combing it out. AR exclusive hair on Instagram. Hit them up. They have great prices and high quality hair. As you can see, again, this hair is four months old and minimum shedding. I'm making it out of a wig now. I actually had it sewn in for my Miami trip. If you watch that video, you'll see that hair. You see as I part it, it's good parting space, everything. So check them out. I will leave that information in my description box. It's AR exclusive hair. I'll let you get back. To oh, and to add in, I am not being paid for this video by them. I am not any type of brand ambassador for them, at least not yet. But anywho, this is my honest review of this hair. I got it back in April and it is now October and I'm still rocking and rolling with it. So it definitely was worth my coin. So check them out. I'm going to let the... Alright guys, so I'm showing you my challenge area. You see how it's split where, let me see, hold on, that that area right there, yeah, it's, it, um, yeah, that area on the side, you see, it's split there. I did it on one side and not the other. That was because I did not 
thread that frontal all the way at the bottom. So this is why I said stay tuned and look carefully because that's what it looks like right there. That's what happens when you don't sew at the very beginning of the frontal and you don't lay that track parallel or right on top of that frontal. See the other side didn't do it as much. You see there? And on the other side is atrocious. So now that's what you'll see me doing. See there? There you go. Yeah, that's why you don't want to lay that. It's important how you lay that track. You don't want to lay it underneath that frontal or above too high of the frontal. And you want to make sure that you sew that flap there all the way down. You want to start at the beginning or this would ha this is what happens. <laughs> so I'm here to give you the tea on what not to do. So now you'll see me fixing it up. And see here, guys, I was thinking about doing the elastic band. I actually had cut it out of a pair of tights. And I was going to experiment with this because I, I mucked it up. Um, not laying that lace frontal right, but I'm not going to use it. First of all, it's white. And I think it just throws it off with it being white and... I just was like, uh, bump it. I'm going to make it do what it do. And we're going to make the best out of this wig. So I tried it, but I didn't, I didn't want to use the white one. But I will say this. When you muck up the wig like that and not laying the frontal or threading the frontal all the way down and then laying the track, pretty much your foundation correctly at the beginning, I do believe if you do so on an elastic band, it will help some, but I didn't do it. I just went back in and kind of re it all through again and it worked. So I'll show you some pictures of me with the final pro project, product or whatever you want to call it here <laughs> shortly, but thanks for watching guys. And don't forget, please like subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'm trying to do better with uploading videos weekly more often. I'm doing a little bit better, but I can't commit to days of the week right now, but it's coming in the future. At least I'm getting out, getting them out on a regular where you're seeing something at least weekly. So just believe in me and 
be patient with me. I'm getting better with these videos, but keep watching and tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks, guys.